free movement has been, has profoundly shaped my life. When I was 18 and I found the things I wanted to study were in Italy and in the UK, eventually I was able to pursue that. When then uh, in London I met uh, a person I fell in love with, I was able to pursue him <laughs> when I found out he lived in Amsterdam. When we found the things we wanted to work with in London, we were both able to, uh, to come and live here. So it's everything, I would say, my, my current family, my friendships, uh, my job, my education. Uh, are consequences of, of me being able to enjoy the freedom of movement. Until years ago, some years ago, only the rich and the powerful were able to freely move around and be with whoever they wanted, work whatever they wanted. Now that, that freedom has become part of um, something that common people can do. So everybody can freely move and they don't have to ask for permission. So it's that, that control that was there before um, now has disappeared and it's about the people really we've gone a lot more about that democracy the power to the people let's say i think that for my generation it is really completely natural i think it's hard for us to to imagine what it would be like if we didn't have that if we didn't have the ability to jump on a plane and go for a city break somewhere in, a, in one of the um, european um, cities uh, if we didn't have the option to study in another country if we chose to do so uh, and if we didn't have the, the ability to choose to work somewhere else and gain experience in another, in another European um, country. With free movement, you're able to have a lot more diverse population, you're, you have a lot more multilingual people um, that can contribute to society, to the arts, um, to employment. You have people who are coming here who can contribute to an, an increasingly diverse uh, society, diverse economy, um, and I think that's very, very rich. I think it's, it's just the simple freedom to be able to, to go to different countries, to travel, to work, study, live. I think the, the freedom of movement gives us security. The fact that we have uh, Europeans in different European countries at the moment and the fact that we are so intertwined gives us the security. It means that uh, uh, we need to work together and we, it means that the governments of the various European countries must work together as well to resolve any potential problems that we have together. We have to remember that that's why the EU was created, because we've had war in the continent for most of our history and um, the fact that we, are, we have become interdependent, interconnected, that means that, and, and we've grown into the understanding of each other, that we've kind of ensured that there is not going to be war because it's not good for any of us. Obviously EU migrants also pay tax. They pay into the welfare system and make it richer. There was a study that showed that um, for each pound 30 that uh, EU migrants contribute in taxes. They only take in about one pound in terms of the services and so forth. I think British people would would lose uh, the same thing that I would lose in principle and they would lose the opportunity to be able to pursue perhaps the studies that they want to pursue that happen to be somewhere else. In the same way if they meet someone and fall in love they might not be able to pursue that um, or they might still insist on pursuing it but it would definitely be much more difficult. I mean are British people ready to give up a right that they've earned and that they can use if they want to. I mean, I understand not everybody necessarily wants to go and live in a different country, but they can and their children will be able to do it. And losing such a right, which is such a, a great step we've taken towards that democracy, towards equality, it would be such a big mistake. The freedom of movement will happen regardless of whether the UK remains in, uh, in Europe or not. It will be something that will happen because it needs to happen. The UK is, uh, is an international business centre. It requires the skills that Europeans have to offer. It needs those to prosper and to be the, the great country that it is. If there would be one thing I could say to the people of Britain about free movement, that would be don't give it up. It's, it's your right. Um, it's about opportunities. It's your chance to have a new life anywhere else. It's your chance to meet your soulmate and be able to have a, a great relationship in 28 countries. Just, just don't give up that opportunity.